How you doing? This is Sayuno, and today I'm going to show you how to get Perfect World International running in Linux. Uh, so I'm using Ubuntu 8.10 and Wine version 1119. This is the latest uh, release version as of this recording, and I do recommend that one if you are going to try this one. Uh, any newer release may have regressions, which means that uh, certain things might break. But uh, let's go ahead and get started. So first, we need to go. Um, get Wine set up to run Perfect World International correctly on our computers. So what you want to do is you want to start off by opening up a terminal and typing in reg edit. And uh, when you do this, it's going to open up uh, the registry editor for Wine. So uh, what you want to do from here is go into the uh, current user, hkey current user, software, Wine, and if you don't have it already, you want to right click the Wine folder, click New, and then click Key, and type in Direct3D. If you don't already have the Direct3D folder, you want to make it. As far as the registry keys you want to have in there, these are them. Feel free to uh, pause it to enter them in. Um, the Direct Draw Renderer, Non Power 2 Mode, Off Screen Rendering Mode, Pixel Shader Mode, and Render Target Lock Mode. Now, I'm not saying that these are required for everybody, but this is what I have set up and this is what works for me. Uh, hopefully it'll work for you as well. It should. Um, I have tested this, but that's what I have set up uh, for my personal use. After that, we want to get Wine Tricks. Now, Wine Tricks, um, if you Google Wine Tricks, it should be the very first option. You just uh, select this line here, type it into your uh, terminal and it'll pop right up. Once you have wine tricks, it's as easy as typing sh wine tricks. So let's go ahead and do that right now. Oh. So when you type sh wine tricks, you'll end up getting a window like this. And this is the package uh, installer menu, and you want to go ahead and check DirectX 9. Now they have other um, packages you can download from here, like certain. Um, fonts and things like that they're nice to get um, some packages may mess up your wine install so do uh, be careful with the ones that you do install so once we have all that set up we can go ahead and run um, perfect world international now you can install it from the exe you're not going to have any errors or anything like that uh, patching is uh, going to work no problem you, you won't have any errors when patching and stuff all of the html loads perfectly um, and so all you do is click start and it will start the game. Now the game runs great. Haven't had any issues with it at all. And uh, it's, you know, in the older versions of Wine, um, there was reported a lot of uh, graphical anomalies and, um, you know, blue characters and um, things not loading up correctly. Um, I haven't had any issues like that. The water renders great, I have everything maxed out, um, my character and all of his abilities looks great. Um, so, here's my character here, he's in the game, right outside of Arcosaur. I'll go ahead and uh, get into some combat real quick so you can see what that looks like. So as you can see, all of the skills render just fine. Um, now I'll go ahead and get on the mount. Oh, here's some water here. Looks really nice. There's Arcosaur back there. I'll go ahead and get on the mount though. Yeah, the sound works, all the mounts work. Um, inventory screen works, all the icons are fine. Um, character screen works. Even the coordinate assistant works, so no worries there. The map works. Um, everything works, and um, I like how it runs. It runs really smooth. Uh, gameplay is nice. Uh, if it looks choppy in the video, I apologize. It's just me recording the video. Um, but as you can see, everything reflects in the water. All the shadows work. Everything. It's uh, really nice, and uh, it also helps that the game's free to play. So if you haven't tried it out, I do have a video review. Um, if you're trying to get this to run in Linux, I hope this has helped. 
you have any questions, feel free to add me on Xfire, and I'll answer any questions that you might have. Um, and feel free to subscribe. I'm making uh, videos, uh, tutorials for newer games and older games alike, and hopefully this helps you. Thanks for watching.